How's it going all you amazing people here on YouTube? I'm Landon and this is where I try to make the news a whole lot more interesting for you. In my last video I asked you what famous person would you want to meet and this is what you all said. Today's coming question of the day is what talent would you want to have? For Dwayne Johnson it's no doubt he wanted the ability to sing. He just appeared not too long ago on Jimmy Fallon during the lip sync battle. He performed the hit song Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. And this has to be one of the funniest things I've seen in a very long time. I mean this is a really big man singing a female song. And one of the greatest females. And it's Dwayne Johnson. How do you not like him? This guy has like a million talents. So this video of Dwayne Johnson singing Taylor Swift's song has over 5 million views at the time of this recording and has barely any thumbs down. Jimmy Fallon performed a few songs as well, but I think in the end, Dwayne Johnson killed it. Sorry, Jimmy. And he won the battle. If you guys want to see this battle, I'll be sure to put the links down below. And if you guys want to see the lip sync battles, it's on Spike TV, but I'm sure you can YouTube it and find it. During the Easter break, passengers of 403 Virgin Atlantic flight was delayed by 33 hours. There was a problem with the rudder of the plane. Also, the flight was deemed too warm to board. The plane was going from Las Vegas to Gatwich, which is located in England. Look at all these people trying to get some sleep. Some of these people were offered a hotel. Check out this long lineup. This is at the hotel Virgin paid for. I mean, this is great business for the hotel, but it's pretty unfortunate that the delay was 33 hours. Virgin also refunded everyone their money as well as an additional 600 British pounds to each passenger for compensation for their troubles. So over at the box office, Furious 7 is still killing it. They brought home over 60 million dollars. This brings their grand total to over 252 million dollars in under two weeks. Home took home second place with over 19 million dollars. It's an animated movie with Jim Parsons. You know the guy from Big Bang. Yeah, this funny guy right here. Rihanna is in it, Steve Martin, and Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez just seems to be an every movie lately. So these are just a few actors that did the voices in the movie. And in third place was a movie that just came out. And I'm talking about The Longest Ride. Okay, so sad news for Taylor Swift. She just found out that her mom was diagnosed with cancer. And she's 57-year-old Andrea Swift. Months ago, Taylor was bugging her mom to get screened for potential health issues. Although Andrea felt fine. When the results came in, it was very sad news and they shared it on social media. Taylor is going to keep her condition and treatment plans private. But they just wanted to let the fans know that something was happening with her family. Hashtag pray for mama swift was a worldwide trend on Twitter. Taylor might be canceling a few of her world tours and this is of course due to the news that she just found out. I really do hope the best for both of them. So hopefully the treatments work, you get better, Taylor Swift you have nothing to worry about, go on tour, I want to see you down here in Toronto in the summertime. Or should I say up here, like because Canada, we we're referred to as like the North. Moving on, I really wanted to talk about this next story about 11 year old Luca Railton, who was told by doctors he would never walk. He was born with leg bones missing due to a medical condition. In 2014, he was told that he needed to get his leg amputated. But his family was able to raise over $135,000 online to take him to the United States to have surgery that was gonna save his leg. Well, guess what? Now he's walking. He defined doctors. His whole life, he needed to wear this metal brace on his legs to help him get around. I mean, just looking at it right now, it looks so damn painful. But Luca, well, he got used to it. And I'm just so glad that there's so many amazing people out there who donated all this money to the family to help him walk. I mean, without it, without the support of the people, this little kid would have lost his life. So stories like this kind of give me a little bit of faith in humanity and people itself. So maybe after all, this world isn't such a bad place. Well, anyways, you guys, there you have it. That's all the news stories I found in the news today. I hope you found them interesting, and I'll see you all in the next video. So what did you guys think? I love stories of people defying doctors. I mean, you're not supposed to walk. Here's a person walking. Well, if you guys want more news stories like this, look over to your left. There's two videos waiting for you to click on. And don't forget to subscribe because that way, as soon as I make a video, you'll be notified right away. Okay, bye.